Welcome back to the World's Worst Fishing, everybody. We've uh, got some molds laid out and it's Saturday morning, which means I'm watching Thomas Lang's Drum Universe live stream on Drum Channel, because that is how we do it out here. The maestro himself. Ah, uh, what an awesome, what an awesome thing happening right now. Okay, everybody, uh, I may have already said this, but welcome back. Uh, so today we're gonna be sort of doing um, one of my bait makers blogs, right? We're not really showcasing any necessarily one thing or, uh, well, you know what? Actually, we might, actually we might, but it's still gonna be a bait blog. We're not releasing a new mold. Um, we're not uh, necessarily um, doing like a tutorial or anything. This is gonna be just what I'm doing today, but I do kind of want to make it a little bit educational in the meantime and inspirational. So I think we're gonna show y'all some illusion tricks with Sparkle Flake that's really gonna, it's really gonna take your bait making to the next level if you have not played with any of these little uh, trade secrets. This is gonna be fun. Giving away the farm a little bit here, but um, I think it'll be fun. Um, these are some really cool things, and uh, you know, it's just like any technique that you've ever seen on this channel or elsewhere, um, let your imagination go. Imagine greater, right? Um, you can do great things beyond what you see just here, um, but this will open up a little bit of that Pandora's box. Um, first though, gotta say, um, we were very lucky here in Tallahassee. We dodged Hurricane Ian. Uh, some friends, family, and other bait makers down in South Florida were not so lucky. You know, I know Andrew Wilson got hit really hard. Um, you know, a lot of my family who's in uh, Bradenton, um, they weren't hit, you know, nearly as hard as uh, a couple miles south down in Fort Myers area. But, uh, you know, they're all still without power. So, uh, devastating storm. Heart goes out to everybody. Uh, we saw it a couple years ago right down the road from me from Hurricane Michael. Just completely flattened Panama City and, and went on up into the Mariana area. Um, and really even into Georgia. Um, still is like a Category 3. So, um, terrible to see. So, um, just... Yeah, I don't really know what to say other than, uh, gosh, I, I, you know what? I don't even know what to say. Just heart goes out to everybody, and um, I know that uh, everybody will come together to um, help with recovery and rebuilding efforts. Um, with that said, let's go ahead and jump on in and uh, see what we can cook up for y'all today. So uh, I want to show y'all a little bit of recent work, okay? So we have some mega complicated hand pouring here some absolute layering beast going on with a couple of bluegill pattern swim baits, right? So this one's really cool. I, uh, I called this one dock light bluegill. You know, if you've ever seen bluegills up under a dock, you know, hey, maybe one of them kind of looked like this, but no, that's really cool. That's a Jetson apricot eye, got a nice orange belly there, and then we've complemented it with some orange flake, kind of dispersed throughout the body. There's also some little green flake in there uh, and some black flake. So uh, it just kind of gives it another kind of layer, I guess. So uh, really cool there. That's in the 7.25 inch. So that's in the big bait. And uh, we did a set of five of those. You can see them there. And then this one's really cool. This one, uh, I took some inspiration from some like stump knocker bedding bluegills that we catch here in Florida that are real deep purple but they have a little bit of that gold in the head and uh, that is Jetson green sunfish eye and this is in the six inch mold so lots of layering again going on there lots of precise color placement and uh, again we've complemented it with some flakes there's some little gold little purple and black sort of in that outer shell so some really, really high-end stuff there, and uh, I hope y'all like it. All right, so we've got the fishing all out, bait makers hot plate fired up. We, uh, we actually just kind of cleaned off the surface. We took some steel wool to it, and um, as you can see, still some uh, stains. Uh, it's hard to get those things out, but a nice, smooth, clean surface. And uh, we're gonna show y'all the first little trick, illusion trick, in the 10-inch ribbon tail worm. So this is the new AI mold right there the 10 inch ribbon tail and uh, crazy that that molds only 33 bucks all right so the first effect we're gonna do is really cool and it's gonna involve this right here lure works just straight sparkle flake 
All right. So, oops. That is the flake that we're using right there. Really, really awesome stuff, very reflective. And then later, we're gonna be using some of the, um, well, what do they call this, violet sparkle? Yeah, yeah, violet sparkle. We're gonna be using some of that stuff right there, which uh, we all know that from Gary Yamamoto Electric Shad, which we do have a video on that color as well. And basically, we're gonna be pouring a layer of clear, a layer of sparkle flake, and then a layer of black and our weapon of choice today for these worms is the dead on plastic black bucket sinking swim bait jerk bait plastic. It's gonna be great. So I'm sure all of y'all have seen these freaking walleye guys. <laughs> Weights and fish. Oh my gosh. Yeah, if y'all haven't seen the clip, it is an absolute hoot. But uh, yeah, those guys are absolute low lives. All right, y'all know what time it is? Time to pour. Okay, everybody, so basically we're gonna pour a layer um, of clear. Now this is gonna be a three layer triple laminate hand poured worm, and uh, it's pretty windy in here. Um, so it may kind of blow the stream of plastic around, but essentially we're just doing this right here. Just gonna get it started. Move it on up the worm. All the way up to the top there. All right, yeah, little sloppy, but that'll get the job done. And this is just straight dead on plastic um, swim bait blend with nothing in it. Just straight clear, oh God, big gust of wind. Yeah, this is gonna be difficult today. Okay, so all of the cavities are filled in there and uh, essentially that's gonna be the top of the worm. So you have to pour them inverted. So the top of the worm is gonna be that layer of clear. Next, we're gonna do the vein in the sparkle flake. All right, everybody, so we've got a lot of laundry noise, so for that I do apologize, and basically now we're just loading up this layer with sparkle flake, like a lot of it. I'm, uh, I'm actually gonna need more of this soon. So there you go, a lot of this stuff, that's like $10 of sparkle flake. All right, so I'll show this to you here in just a second. That is essentially going to be our layer or our, uh, our our vein so to speak so we're just gonna pour a very thin vein hopefully uh, without the wind being too bad uh, right down the center of the cavity all right we're gonna see if we can get some better footage on this side of things all right so here we go thin little layer don't need much and the heat kind of fills the mold in for you, just like that. Again, that's our layer. Got to pour very precisely. Just like that. I think that's looking good. You can see some of the sparkles over there on that side. All right, so for the final color, we're just going to do black with some dead shift pigment, okay? So, oh, that's like seven drops of black or something. So not too saturated, but darker than like a charcoal. All right. Yeah. We might go a little bit more now that we've kind of looked at it. Two, three, four, five. Five more drops. See where that gets us. Might land us somewhere good. All right, now, I like this one a lot right here. This is the Dead Shift Haze. Okay, so we're gonna add a little bit of that just for effect. All right. Yeah, beautiful. Get some of that going, look at that. Amazing stuff there. Yeah. Pretty, pretty, pretty. You can kind of see it glistening in the cup there. Maybe a smidge more. All right, here we go. We are gonna top a couple off for y'all. Best we can on camera. Look at that. Beautiful.
Ta-da! Perfect. That one came out really good. And I just keep laughing at those walleye rednecks. Like, how stupid can you be? That guy will probably never fish again. Like, even, even when not in a tournament, how do you show up to the lake again? Like you can't you can't go around fishing again <laughs> after something that bad. Okay, surprisingly pretty clean for the conditions. A little spillage here in the first few cavities. Uh, this row back here looks really good. And again, just here's sort of some of the color there, right? There's that sparkle flake from the vein, and then the uh, haze black right there. So. Um, if you really, let's get close. If you really get close there, you can kind of see the effect through it. And um, these are gonna look really good. Okay, so while the worms are cooling down, we're gonna move on to the AI, those guys. Five inch swim bait open pour mold. And we're gonna do something uh, really cool with this spark, uh, sparkle violet in the small size. We're basically going to capsule, right? We're gonna capsule each cavity here with a clear layer of plastic with some of this. And it's gonna give like a misty, uh, sparkle, violet sparkle, almost scaling pattern in that outer capsule. And then you can pour whatever you want inside that and you'll sort of have this outer um, sparkle effect. So that is coming up next. All right, here we go. Got some more uh, swim bait plastic there. Okay. Just like this. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna get that a stir in. And this will make a really, really nice effect. Just like that. Yeah, looking good, looking good. Maybe even a smidge more because why not? Go big when I'm on video, I say. So, this will be our capsule plastic. And again, these are capsules, not skin pouring. You wanna get your nomenclature right. A lot of people refer to capsuling as skin pouring when um, really they're, they're sort of the same, but sort of not, right? So here we go. We're gonna go ahead and capsule this out. Yeah. And there it is. Can't really see the effect there, but once we get some color in the mold behind that skin there, behind the capsule, um, you'll be able to basically like, it will bring out this, this uh, violet sparkle, so. There we go. There it is. This is a really, really neat effect. So just to demonstrate, here is what that same exact uh, capsule plastic looks like without anything on it, and then you put a backing to it, right? And then now you can see the sort of the uh, effect come out. King of the table five. So I absolutely love arm wrestling. Schoolboy is losing to Khaled. This is crazy guys. All right, so right here we've got some uh, hyper shift from Dip Your Car. And um, this is gonna be our vein. So we've already gotten some, um, whoa, I gotta turn that down. Wow, Schoolboy goes down, wow. Okay, so we've got some uh, hypershift in there, and this is going to be our vein color. All right, so now we're just going to back it with a little bit of black. Two drops of black. All right, and that's going to really get, uh, that's really going to bring this out. See that? Awesome stuff. And we already have some clear bellies poured into the molds. Um, I kind of had to do them when the wind wasn't blowing, um, but that right there is going to be our vein and it's gonna look really awesome. All right, everybody, gonna try to get a vein or two poured for y'all while the wind has kinda 
died down a little bit. Yeah, I think that'll work. Really cool stuff, check that out. Isn't that awesome? All right, next. Cannot believe Schoolboy lost, what the heck? Khaled is a machine though. His hands are like the size of baseball gloves. Okay, so that is the next step. All right, so for the top color here, let me uh, turn the volume down on the arm wrestling here. <laughs> for the top color, we're gonna go with black again. So if you'll notice, sort of the ingredients we need are clear, some sort of sparkle or color shift, hyper shift effect, and then black. Black to be sort of a dark base to back all of this stuff to really bring those effects out. So uh, we're gonna use some of the same powder here just to sort of spike that top color. And, um, and that'll sort of be our top color. So sort of similar to the worms, sort of a, um, a layer of clear, a layer of effect, and then a layer of black black with some uh, pearl in it. So um, very similar in the makeup, but uh, you know, this is just some, uh, some cool stuff that y'all can try um, with whatever sparkle flakes you like or whatever uh, hyper shift powders you, you find uh, most attractive. All right, we're gonna top one off here. We'll, uh, I guess we'll go with this one. The wind is still really bad, um, so. Hopefully we don't pour this too sloppy. Okay, there we go. All right, that worked. Yeah, we just need to do them all like that. All right, let's take a look at our worms and see what happened. Um, I think they're gonna look really cool. I've done this one time before and uh, kind of wanted to do it ever since and uh, video day is a good reason So we'll pull it out. Oh, yeah, check this out <laughs> There it is Right so you can see from the side It just kind of looks like clear and black, but boom You turn it and that's where you get that illusion effect, right? Because from certain angles, it's not there and then boom in your face you get all this crazy effect from the sparkle flake. And you can see the color shift in, in the tail there. Awesome sauce. What do y'all think? Let's get another one out. Oh yeah. So from different angles, it looks different. And that's what I mean by illusion is that it's kind of one thing and then it's not, then it's something else, you know? sort of plays tricks on your eye. And that is one cool little trick for the uh, custom bait maker. All right, let's take some more out. It's fun to uh, it's fun to watch them come out of the molds and be born. Yeah. Birth of a new bait. Everybody likes that. Yeah. Beautiful. We'll just kind of lay them all over there for the time being and uh, we'll actually lay them out like they should go uh, here and uh, uh, just a little bit off camera because that takes a little while again super cool effect I'll bet you don't see worms like that at Bass Pro now whether or not they'll catch a fish you know hey remains to be seen <laughs> like I said I've only sold one set of these I've only made one set of these and um, I do not remember where they wound up going, so hopefully they went into a fish's mouth at some point. Yeah, what an awesome mold, too. Yeah, very cool. Very cool stuff. Cool way to use some, uh, some neat effects and a little bit of illusion going on. You know, the great Jeff Peel always talks about illusion, and uh, this is certainly that. So we'll get these other ones out. Yeah, two more, two more. Mm. 
There it is. All right, there they are laid out nice and neat. Yeah, looking good. There's, there's so much effect, my camera can barely even pick it up. Can barely even focus on it. I love how they look different from different angles. Heck yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our main event. <laughs> Let's see how these swim baits turned out. Okay, so I have still, I still do not have my drumsticks, so I apologize. I looked for them and could not locate them. So here we go. Drum roll. Well, hold on. Let's get her. There we go. Gotta get it started. All right, it's gonna come on this side. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, let's uh, let's get a good view of it here. Actually, there's so much reflection in the mold. Yeah, you can't really see it. Hold on. Okay, I got out a different one, a mold that's not quite as uh, shiny. Okay, so look at that. Uh, now you can really see the effect, right? That's that capsule with the violet sparkle flake that you can see all throughout, right? And you'll see that it stops here. So what that tells you, anyone that's looking at this bait, that tells you that that flake, the sparkle flake, is not in the color, right? Or else it would continue down into the tail. The fact that it stops right here, and you can kind of choose how far it goes down, but that's sort of a dead giveaway that there's something else going on here and it's only on the outside. You can see it there in the nose, all down the body, in the belly section, and then that top section. Really, really cool effect. And um, let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and take this one out. Super cool. All right, everybody. Cool stuff, you know. This uh, sparkle flake and using it with clear, it's almost like a cheat code for bait makers. All right, everybody, that's gonna wrap this one up. Um, yeah, really cool stuff. Um, so like, like I just mentioned, um, it's almost like a cheat code. You can, you can use clear bellies and clear layers with some sort of a hyper shift or especially the sparkle flake stuff, back it with a dark color doesn't have to be black, but just back it with something dark and you're going to be blowing minds. I mean, those things punch way above their way above their weight in terms of difficulty, but how cool the effect is. You know, I can I can do some really difficult things, but something like that, people are like, "Whoa." So, you know, it's 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 a it's a hack. It's it's a cheat code, but but it's a really cool effect and you can probably even take it further. Um so anyway, I, I see a lot of things around the bait community. People are asking how they can use Sparkle Flake. And, and one thing that I forgot to touch on, um, when doing the swim bait, right, I actually mixed in the Sparkle Flake with the capsule layer at the beginning. You don't necessarily have to do that. If you're, if you're having trouble with your Sparkle Flake um, in, in the hot plastic, which a lot of people have problems with that, you can basically just pour the uh, clear capsule and then just sprinkle that stuff on on the inside of it and sort of get the same effect you could you could technically sprinkle it in the mold then pour your clear capsule and you'll have the same thing after the molds are cooked um, so you know there's a lot of ways to do it or actually another thing is you could sprinkle the finished product and then clear dip over your sparkle flake um, so there's a lot of ways that you can do it but that's the effect right there, and uh, I think it's super cool. So we're out of here. That's enough bait blog for the day. I'm whooped, and uh, yeah, it's time to go to bed. See you guys.